Let's take a moment to discuss this little icon over here, which is the Restore Audio Device Settings. On specific Personas interfaces that support this feature, including Studio 192, Studio 192 Mobile, Quantum, and the Quantum 2, we actually have the ability to recall the device settings when we load up a session. Now, just a quick note that I'm going to be using the Quantum for this video, but these concepts apply to any interface that supports this function of restoring the audio device settings. So for example, you can see over here, I've created a track for all of my main inputs. Let's just go over to our audio IO setup. You can see I have my first eight in, then I've got my SPDIF and all of my ADATs. Now I've gone ahead and just made some adjustments here in terms of enabling phantom power on some of my ADAT channels over here, as well as just dialing in some gain. And we could do that even further if we wanted to. So for example, let's just head over to input three on the quantum, we'll dial up some gain and we'll head over to input four, we'll do the same and maybe we will enable our phantom power as well. So now what's happening here is because I've enabled my show audio device controls in the options in my console, I can see all of this information in terms of our phantom power, our preamp gain, and also some monitoring options to the right of the main channel out here. In addition to that, we also have this icon. Now you'll notice that it is lit up in orange right now. If I was to click save right now, it's gonna turn into a gray color. And that's because these settings have now been embedded in the Studio One song file. So now let's take a look at how this works in practice. Now the idea is simple. If we're in universal control and I was to make any changes to any of these settings, when I open up the song, I have the option to immediately restore them. So for example, let's go ahead right now and I'm just gonna close off this session. Now let's go back into universal control and let's turn this down, we'll turn this down, we'll deselect the phantom power. In fact, I'll just turn all of these down and I'll turn all the phantom power off. So this would be essentially starting from a completely clean slate in universal control. Now, it's worth mentioning that this is obviously very different to where we left our session the last time we were working on it. So we've got a blank slate on universal control. Now, if I go back into Studio One and I open up this session over here, You'll notice that all of these now, we don't have any preamp gain and all the phantom powers have been disabled. If I was to go ahead and click this button, restore audio device settings, this will immediately restore all of the settings on both my quantum and my DP88 to what they were the last time we left off. So again, let's really quickly, we're gonna take a look at universal control. Now let's go back into studio one I'll click this option to restore all my settings. Two things have happened. Obviously, we can see that it's happened in universal control. And if we take a look at our hardware over here, you'll see that our hardware has now followed all those settings. So we have our phantom powers engaged and our preamp gain. So just a really quick recap on this again. The minute you save a session, all of the device settings in terms of preamp gain, phantom power, get stored in the song file. If you make any changes to your device, for example, you move on to another session, use a completely different mic setup, have different settings, then you want to open the setting, but you want to pick up exactly where you left off. All we have to do is click this little tab, which would be illuminated in orange, restore audio device settings, and then our hardware will automatically reload all the settings according to where we last left off in this song. Totally recallable. Very cool feature and really handy if you're moving between different projects and you need to pick up from exactly where you left off. And this could be three months down the line, six months down the line. Regardless, you can easily restore your audio device settings simply by a click of this button.